hello 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 welcome back to my channel i'm british hellcat and i hope you are doing well or if you're new to the channel hi this is my channel so i'm going to talk about the walking dead season finale because oh my god that 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 i so many emotions so many so many and it's quite funny because my i was on facetime to kim when i was watching it and she actually took live video uh, live um photos of facetime of me when I found out a certain something which I, we will talk about and they're hilarious and I will try and insert them here but yes and you're probably wondering what the hell this is all about I was feeling very festively today and I don't have my walking dead vest with me which is very upsetting so I'm I'm, I'm going all hippie on you guys I mean I, I just thought I'd tell you now but yeah anyway let's just get right on into the video <laughs> I, one of the best Walking Dead season finales there has been, okay? I hated season seven season finale. I thought it was okay. And what they could have done with it, they could have done better. Season six season finale, that was fantastic. I mean, everyone was like, what the F? But this season finale, they've they've brought the walking dead back i hated season seven season eight it's been it's been better it's been a lot better it definitely picked up on the second half but they have brought it back ladies and gentlemen this season finale was one of the greatest things i have watched recently so yes firstly i am madly in love with negan jd morgan as you guys know from my previous videos uh negan i love him i was rooting for him although i'm still rooting for rick's group but i was kind of more rooting for negan actually it was more the fact as long as negan didn't die i would be a happy bunny now this is what i was talking about negan and rick had the proper conversation and you knew someone was going to get hurt or someone was going to die or something like that and they had it and they were fighting and they were talking and then rick pulled out the dead son card because he's an arse wipe and uh, then Negan stopped, said, look, you've got, um, I think it was 10 seconds to talk to me before I kill you, basically. Because the way the pre-season finale ended was like, it, it end, this piece happens with, winning happens with me killing all of you. I was like, okay, let's just step it back a little bit. But yes, so that happened. And then so Rick put out the dead son card and uh and then slash negan's throat and i was i literally i sat there i was like no 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 i mean i knew realistically negan could have died i mean it makes sense the governor died and i can't remember any other villains but basically all the villains have basically died or been captured and stuff like that but i love rick for telling him to heal it and then maggie had a bloody meltdown over the fact that negan was saved and Ma you know what i don't like maggie anymore not just because she wants to kill Negan, because that's understandable. I'd probably want to kill Negan if I was in her situation. He beat the living daylights, quite literally, out of her husband. So, it's understandable. However, she... So, she had a meltdown, and then the ending bit is actually... Not not the end end bit, but the ending bit where, where we last saw Maggie, Jesus, and then Daryl. Okay, Daryl used to be my favourite character. Hell, he's probably still my favourite character, if you take Negan out of the feed. He's my favourite Rick group character. And when Maggie was plotting with Jesus to end Negan, I knew it was just going to be bad. But what I love is that next season, it's not going to be... They didn't introduce a new baddie like normal. Because have you not noticed, it's getting a bit repetitive now. I found it's getting quite repetitive. Where like, bring in a new villain, kill a new villain. Do this, do that. Kill walkers, bam, this is our life now. Which makes sense, because that's probably what happens in an apocalypse world. But, uh, yeah, so now the villains next... Well, the villains next season is going to be maggie jesus and then when daryl chimed in from the back i heard his voice and i literally just went no no because no. literally i love daryl so much but if he goes up against negan i don't know which one i'm gonna end up rooting for okay that's gonna hurt me inside i'm gonna be so conflicted it's not right <sighs> but so they did that so they're now gonna be against rick and then rick's gonna go absolutely ballistic because then maggie who he's been with since season two and was his one of his best friends wife and it's just going to be very dramatic and then daryl who rick has actually admitted you're like a brother to me and i'm like i can't deal because if it's rick versus daryl i'm just gonna it, it's just gonna be so i think next season's gonna be so emotional and so good i'm actually so hyped for next season like when season seven happened i was like um sorry season seven ended and it came into season eight i'm like i'm not really that hyped but i'm gonna keep watching it because it's the walking dead but then at the end of this season it, it's made me hyped i am hyped 
beyond belief for the next season. And we've got to wait till like October because that's usually when they come out. It's like October 24th it was this year when season 8 came out. So I don't last year. You know what I mean. So yes, and then we had um, this massive herd of walkers coming towards them. So we're going to have to deal with that next season. Then we've got um, people rebuilding the sanctuary, um, trying to rebuild Alexandria, I think they said, um, the hilltop. Basically, we're trying to have this massive community where everyone's together. And then obviously Simon died, but he died in the episode beforehand, which was good because he was getting too big for his boots. I quite liked Simon in the beginning, like as far as you can like someone's right hand man, you get what I mean. And then he got too big for his boots and then Dwight, oh my God, I thought Dwight was going to die. Dwight did not die. Basically, no one major really died. And I was shocked. This is a new turn for The Walking Dead. But what they're planning to do with Negan, um, that last scene with Negan, I thought was great. With the fact that he's injured and obviously they saved him. And I, I seriously, so the pictures you would have seen earlier was me when I found out that Negan wasn't actually dead. When he goes save him and he goes, Negan's not dead. And I was just like, you, you would have seen the photos. And it was just a very emotional episode. And like, not as far as crying, but as far as this is so tense, who's gonna die? Because you always expect someone main to die in the season finale, but I suppose Carl died in the mid-season finale, but then I was quite shocked. And then Morgan, good old Morgan, has been doing my head in since the beginning of the season. So I'm kind of glad he's moving on. But then he got, I can't remember her name, Anna, I think her name is. He got Anne to go to Rick, and I'm so happy. I actually quite like her. And so yeah, so she's gonna be with Rick, but then I think she's got like a little thing with Negan So I wonder if those two are gonna be buddy buddy in the next season And then maybe she's gonna try and help him escape. Maybe a romance. We don't know. And then what's gonna happen to Lucille? Where's the baseball bat? Okay, she's surely not going to be in the cell with Negan. I mean, what? Maybe Negan's gonna redeem himself and maybe Negan like in the flash for I think it was the it was the mid-season finale where all those flashbacks or flash forwards of a new world was where Negan's actually part of the community. Maybe that's what's gonna happen. And then Rick and Michonne, that was cute with the hand holding, and the whole ending of the season finale was absolutely beautiful. And not the end, end, end where Nick uh, Nick, I keep calling him Nick, where Rick was sat under the tree laugh crying because it was finally over uh, but we saw glimpses of that in each episode and you were always like what's going on and then we now we know what was going on and then with the rick and michonne hand holding and then with the rick and little carl walking towards the farm and he was talking to carl at the end and i'm just like i can't deal this is so this is like this is the sort of stuff that you never imagined would happen in season one but you always expect because it's been eight seasons guys eight years that is a long long time although i've only been watching it for i started when they went to, i started in season end of season three so season three season four is when i started getting into it so obviously i had to watch up to it and then so it's finally up to date mid season four i believe so it's been a lot of years that i've been invested in these characters okay and it's just so emotional and so good and i'm so happy that they've upped their game because seriously it was getting boring and repetitive and ridiculous and I'm just so happy that it's back to normal Walking Dead. I'm intrigued to s when Rick will find out that Maggie's plotting against him, plotting against Negan, then maybe Rick will protect Negan and then Rick and Negan will join forces and then yes, please. Okay? I'm just so happy that he's back and I was so emotional when Negan died but didn't die and I'm so happy he's not dead, so it's great. That is been me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to hit the like button down below. And if you're not part of my internet family, what are you doing? Smash that subscribe button down below. Turn it to a grey one. And we're, we're such a laugh. Just come join us. And let's get my subscriber count up, guys. It'd be greatly appreciated. Comment down below if you have seen the season finale. And if you have, what you thought of it. Because I am so emotional right now. And tell me if you wanted Negan to die or not, because I am intrigued to see how many Negan lovers there are out there. My social media is down below, guys. I'm always on social media. Come follow me. It's great. We're great. The family's great. So I will see you guys in another video. Ah!